Ha! I know Kung Fu, don't mess with me! What's up, Ocean here. If you're like me, you've always wanted a travel video tripod, something very light and portable so that you can go around, and something that's stable. Of course, you need a fluid head that can allow you to pan and tilt, you know? So when the Be Free Live came out in 2016, I was kind of excited. Many reviewers talked about that and they loved it. But for me, I just didn't buy it. It got a couple of flaws that I didn't like. And then this came out recently. Be Free Live carbon fiber version. Finally, the most popular travel tripod upgraded. Before we get into the new version, I want to talk about what I didn't like on the old one and whether or not this solves those problems. When you turn the leg down, it doesn't lock in place on its own. You have to lock it manually, like right here. And I thought it's kind of dumb. You need to do an extra step every time you pull, pull up the leg. And when you're traveling, you want to be quick, right? You want to get a quick shot and then move on to the next spot. This is not very smart. Bad thing too. I love my Manfrotto tripods. I have a couple of them. I'm actually using one of them right now. But one thing that I start to not like them is the lever locks. Here's the thing, these levers, they lock in place, very snappy, nice, but over time, they wear out. It requires some sort of tool to tighten it, and if you don't have the tool on site, you end up with a very loose leg the whole day. And I feel like it's a very unnecessary problem. And one time I even hurt my fingers on these levers. I don't know how I did that. Amazing, right? Bad sing sweet. This guy is a whopping four pounds. It's less than ideal for travel. I mean, it's not too heavy but it's a little bit too heavy for me i mean you see i'm not a very buff guy it's like bones so i wouldn't be surprised if manfrotto decide to drop this entirely and only keep the new versions so does this new version solve these problems so check this out it's all locked in place and these legs grab twist extend that's it and this guy is one pound lighter. That's more than 450 grams. I mean, it's not a lot, but when you travel, every gram counts, right? Ask the airlines. And that means you can stuff one more pound of other equipments into your luggage. Why not? There's a little hook here that you can hang something on and something they call the easy link to mount some accessories. In fact, they released two new versions, the carbon fiber one and the aluminum one. The main difference is this. Woo. Isn't that super cool? I'm not sure why the carbon fiber version doesn't do that. Maybe because of the finishing is different. It's a little bit uh, plastic on the surface or maybe because the legs are just too light. I don't know. And of course there is the weight. And the aluminum version has a little grip here that you can grip on. And according to Manfrotto, the clicks on the carbon fiber has some sort of uh, way to absorb the vibration. I don't know how it works, so don't ask me. They do have one thing in common. They all share the same fluid head. Is it a good head? No, it's not, <laughs> but it gets the job done. The head itself is very lightweight. It's almost like the photo ball head. It's very small. It doesn't have the weight of a normal production fluid head. And that is why you need a travel tripod at the first place. The weight, the flexibility, the convenience, and this fulfills it. I used to bring a cheapo travel tripod with me, but it has a photo head, so I ended up not really using it. If you use a photo head, you might as well handheld. That's no point. To conclude, this, the carbon fiber version, is definitely going to be a great addition to my gear. Is it a perfect tripod? No, definitely not. But this is the perfect tool for a very specific purpose travel and don't think that it can fulfill all your other needs other than travel it doesn't have a counterbalance fluid head obviously it's very lightweight so it's not going to be as stable as the proper production tripod side note i actually brought this to a gig to shoot with and it worked fine for me they all have a little leveler here that you can adjust the level with which i forgot to mention but it shifts a little bit when you tighten it hey but at least they included it if not it wouldn't be a video tripod the carbon fiber version is 350 i know it's not the cheapest thing on the earth to me it's definitely worth it a good tripod head only the head would be more expensive than that but i know the price tag itself doesn't sound like a very affordable thing for a lot of people. But I'm gonna tell you, you ask any professional filmmaker, they would say, get a good set of legs. 
it can go a long way. So there you go. Well, I was actually gonna buy this myself to make this video. It solves all my initial concern of the older version. It's, it's pretty good. And it's carbon fiber. I love carbon fiber. And thank you Manfrotto for sending me three of them so that I can compare. I wish I get to keep them, but I mean, still, thank you. So what do you think about the new version? Let us know in the comments. And if you like what I'm sharing, please subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm Ocean, the video dude. Till next time. Oh, and um, I don't actually know Kung Fu and uh, my math is really bad. Just so you know. All right, bye.